One of the best things about working at Snakes and Lattes is that I get to introduce cool new people to cool new games that they otherwise never would have heard of. Now, I get to do this in person at both of our locations in Toronto, but thanks to the power of the World Wide Web, I can visit you at home or at work or wherever it is that you internet and blow your mind via remote. Now that I'm firmly on the government terrorist watch list, let me introduce you to my favorite new dexterity game, Vertigo. Now, if you live in the UK, you may already be familiar with this game under the name of Librium, but the great people at TCG Games have bought the North American rights, tinkered a little bit with the presentation of the game, and they are bringing it to the colonies. Like Jenga before it, Vertigo is a fairly straightforward stacking game, but instead of using blocks, it uses these credit card-like sheets of plastic with holes slotted through them. These allow you to fit the cards into each other, creating uh, a variety of very complicated shapes. Now, on your turn, you take a card, you match it color to color, fit it in a slot, and if you knock two or more cards off, you're out of the game. If everybody manages to get rid of all their cards, then you start reversing the game, removing one card at a time. As players get knocked out, their cards get divided up amongst the rest of the players, and the last player still in is the winner. There is a rule that if you drop a card on your turn, you lose your turn, but I tend to ignore that particular rule because it encourages this. Oops, I dropped a card. I guess I don't go. One of my favorite things about Vertigo is that it is a stacking game you can get better at. You learn how cards can rest. You learn what angles are possible. Another thing I like about it is that the shapes you end up creating are extremely eye-catching. If you're playing this at a table, you will get spectators. Vertigo does have a downside. The color matching aspect of the game makes it difficult for people with vision problems such as color blindness or anyone playing in dim lighting to actually enjoy the game. Now I've had a conversation with the people at TCG and hopefully for future printings they are going to include unique symbols that match up with the colors so that even people with color blindness will be able to enjoy this fantastic game. So that's Vertigo. If you've got a favorite dexterity or stacking game, mention it in the comments or tweet us at Snakes and Lattes. And remember to follow us on Twitter to get all the latest in news and contests. And if you've got questions, you can send them to AskSnakes at SnakesandLattes.com. Look at this clever container. This is great. You unscrew this. You put everything inside. You fold down the little knobby dude. Turn the lid over. And that is a portable game ready for going anywhere. <laughs>